There's a sweet little verse, I think it's Proverbs 10, verse 7. It says, the memory of the just is blessed. And when I think of that verse, I often think of dear brother John Bramhall. For many years, he contributed to the Choice Gleanings calendar, and when he would correspond with me, I was editor at the time, he would sign his name, The Other J.B. I think he was Harold Harper's first convert, born in England. He came with his parents to the United States. I think he lived in Rochester, New York. And the great evangelist Harold Harper came to their town, and as a young boy, he put his trust in Christ. The Lord called him to uh, preach the gospel in the southern states, and he spent much of his life in the Carolinas and traveling elsewhere, and was a very prolific writer. We compiled a number of his short articles in two books published by Gospel Folio Press called I Am My Beloved's and My Beloved is Mine. I remember as a young preacher, I was down in Georgia and I had a day free and Brother Bramhall was also preaching in the area. I took him for a ride in the country. And as we rode along, I said to him, Brother Bramhall, among all the needs of God's people today, what would you say is the greatest need? And he thought only for a moment and he said, JB, what we need today is what we've always needed, more devotion to Christ. Anyone who knew John Bramhall would already have been able to guess his answer because that was the ministry of Brother John Bramhall. Well, about 20 years ago, I was asked to compile a book on missionary stories and God's faithfulness to them. And this is the book that was published in those days called God is Faithful. And there is a story about John Bramhall in the book, but I have a brief incident in the preface. Now, very few people read the preface of a book. They just leap into the contents. But in this preface, I tell this brief story. At this time, John Bramhall was in his 100th year. And he sent me this little note that says, I surely can witness to the faithfulness of God through the 70 or more years I have spent in the Lord's work. The truth of Philippians 4.19, But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus has certainly been proved over and over again in our lives to his glory, even during the early years of the Great Depression. And then he tells this story. One strange experience stands out. In 1935, my wife had major surgery, and the doctor told me to be sure she had eggs for breakfast to help her restore her strength. We had such little income in those days, we could not afford that. Believe it or not, some neighbor's chicken, which neighbor I don't know, strayed each morning into our yard made a nest, and laid a fresh egg each day during her convalescence. I asked no questions for conscience sake, 1 Corinthians 10, 25, but my wife had a fresh egg every day while recuperating. When we think of the kindness of God, looking after every particular, hearing every prayer, responding to every need, what a faithful God we have. And even these little stories, a story about an egg, show God's meticulous care for his people. And I would just encourage you to put God to the test, to prove him in the daily experiences of life. And if you have faith in God, you will find him altogether faithful.